Hello everyone, Tawana Michelle here with Live Beautifully Natural. Welcome to my channel, all of my beautifuls. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today I am going to be taking this old wash and go. I've probably worn it about six days, but it really wasn't good from like day one or no, day one was okay. It really wasn't good from like day two, day two, day three. I use, I'll do a review on that. I did a one product wash and go with the review that it just didn't work. So wash day is not until tomorrow. And that means I have another day. I have some things I have to do today. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this head. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I do one of my signature styles, which is my side do hairdo on old hair i typically do it on old hair sometimes i'll do it on like fresh hair but not often it's usually more of an old hair thing so um i'll start and i'll just kind of tell you the products i'm using as i go along so first thing i'm going to do is take my water bottle and i'm going to ooh, spritz this hair everywhere you do want to wet get the hair pretty wet the hair needs to be like pliable. Oh, my hair loves water. Just look at that. <laughs> it's been missing it, y'all. My hair was so dry with that product that I use. Mm -mm. But I will tell y'all about that on a review because I'm not going to say it was a bad product. I was going to say it's so bad that it really deserves its own video. So that nobody uses it i'm not gonna say that because it might work for some people it just didn't work for me and also like i said i was trying to do a one product wash and go that product is not moisturizing it might be good at styling so we'll see so after i do that what i do is i take my hawaiian silky um 14 in one miracle worker it's kind of a leave it's a leave-in condition and it moisturizes um, I did a video with my favorite affordable leave-in conditioners. This was one of them. So check that out. I love this stuff, y'all. So I'm just going to take it. I'm just working with two sections of the hair. So I'm going to take it and just kind of make sure I'm getting the ends. I'm really wanting like the ends, okay? I am not. I am just smoothing this. I am not going through my hair trying to detangle it ain't it ain't time for that we do that on wash day it ain't wash day i only detangle once a week so then i'm gonna take the other side smooth the ends kind of go up to the top and uh see it's my hair is oh, it's already like so much better it's soft and it's moist and i'm getting my definition back um I am going to add a little bit more, especially on this side, because I'm going to be pulling it over to the right side. I'm going to um, add some more to smooth out the top. Now, typically when I wear this hairstyle, I don't wear a middle part, but you know what? I am not about to mess with this part, y'all. So, I got my hair wet to a little moist and um, so it's good the next thing i'm gonna do is take this uh, i love 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 this y'all i love this cantu shea butter um not so much for a wash and go but like if i am refreshing an old wash and go with the new style if i am i use this for my edges like i really need a water-based product for my edges that's why i use this instead of edge control it doesn't hold as good but it's just easy for me to work with um i have used this for a wash and go and i do like it the problem is it says maximum hold it really doesn't hold but y'all this thing is moisturizing the cantu shea butter maximum <laughs> maximum hold um gel styling gel is good so i'm gonna take this next and i'm gonna go on this side of the hair take a little bit more go at the top here a little bit more 
And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to brush that. Now, I'm about to get my bobby pins ready because I have them in this little container. Bobby pins need to be out already because you're going to be holding the hair before you pin it. So I got my little box of bobby pins right here. If I can open it. So I'm going to get a few out. So I got a few bobby pins out, honey. So what you're going to do? Even though you just put gel, you're going to start like a twist. Not not like a flat twist, but as you twist, you're grabbing more hair and you're twisting it up. Kind of like um back in the day when we used to wear, oh, a long time ago, y'all. Um I am in my 40s, early 40s. So back in the day when I was in like middle school, we used to wear these French roll styles. And that's kind of how you ro you're rolling it up. Then you are taking some pins and you're pinning that like that. Pinning it down so it can stay. I put about three or four. Hmm. And once you get it pinned, uh oh, it's a struggle sometimes. I'm using three. Once you get it pinned, you're gonna have some the hair that's left from the part you just rolled. You want to tuck it under the hair that's down because you don't want it showing like it's its own separate part. You want it to blend. Now, I also do this when my hair is stretched out and it gives me more length. So I am going to begin. So I'm just going to fluff it out. Now, you see how the part that rolled over, you're just tucking it under. Um, this is really cute. Um, especially like if you're dressed up, going out on a date or whatever. So I have it all rolled up like a little French rolly. Now I'm going to do my edges. I don't do a lot to edges, which is why I'm okay with, um, what do you call it? I'm okay with using gel. Like, I know some of you are like, oh, I never used, I can't use gel or whatever, but it works for me. I'm going to slick that back. Take some of this hair down. You're probably going to just let that curl. You're going to let that curl like whatever you want to do and then I just take my little edge control brush and do them edges like I said I'm really just slicking it back I don't do a whole lot with the edges so I'm just slicking it back and I'm gonna do an edge um up under oh, what is this hair under here just in this little top part and then just kind of y'all know I ain't gotta tell you how to do edges y'all know how to do edges so you got basically that's your style I like it you got a little side do um that's a little different it looks way better than it looked before when I had this dry hair all over the place. Um, it's really cute. I like it a lot. So I'm going to turn around and try and show you guys the back. So this is how the back, back looks. Like I said, you just see this hair, you tuck it under and you put this over and you have the little do. And that's it, y'all. This is a look that I really like. And like I said, I do it if I need to style an old wash and go or I do it if, um, I don't know, I want to be kind of a little dressed up, a little sexy. I don't really do updo styles a lot. So this would be kind of like an, an updo type of style for me. So 
that's all I have y'all. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. What are you waiting on? Share this video with anyone that you think may help. And my channel as well, I do have fine natural hair. So I know things are a little different for us fine natural hair sisters. Um, so I'll just be sharing some gems from my journey. But thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time, take care. Bye.